going through a breakup right now and I thought, what better way to cope than doing the break? Ain't nothing wrong if you want to do the break all day long. To do this job, you'll need brake pads, rotors, brake cleaner, and lubricant. First, jack your vehicle and remove the tires to get to your rotor and caliper. Turn your steering wheel to give yourself a better angle and more room. These are the parts you'll be working with. The brake pads are inside the caliper. Before you remove the caliper, clean all the dust and dirt away so you don't get anything inside the caliper piston. So let's remove the caliper. There are two mounting bolts, upper and lower. Don't remove the one in the middle unless you're replacing the caliper itself or the caliper hose. Once you've removed the bolts, you can use a flathead screwdriver to carefully separate the caliper from the steering knuckle and rotor. Place the caliper on something high so you're not putting pressure or pull on the brake hose. Next, we'll replace the rotor. Just remove the old one and again clean off any brake dust or dirt with a wire brush or microfiber cloth. New rotors come coated with oil, so hit them with some brake clean and wipe them down before installing them. Okay, let's remove the brake pads from the caliper. If they're stuck, just lightly tap them with a hammer. Be careful of your brake hose though. Now let's remove the guide pins. They should easily push out of these rubber boots, but if they're stuck, you can carefully push them out with a flat head, but be careful not to damage the rubber boots. Once everything is removed, check inside and around the caliper piston to make sure it's clean. Check for leaks around the dust boot for the piston. Now we have to push the piston back to put the new pads on. But before we do that, locate the reservoir cap for your brake fluid. Loosen or remove it to relieve the pressure on the master cylinder that happens when you push back the piston. Put a rag or something under the master cylinder in case fluid spills over. To push back the piston, I'm using an old brake pad and a C-clamp. You can borrow or buy a piston compressor tool from AutoZone or just use this method. As soon as you've pushed back the piston, replace or tighten the cap back on your reservoir so moisture doesn't get in your brake system. Okay, let's replace the guide pins first by lubing the inside of the rubber boot where the pin sits with a silicone-based lubricant. And make sure they're not cracked or torn. I actually need to replace mine. Clean and lube your guide pins as well before putting them back in the boot. Guide pins guide the proper angle for how the brake pads meet the rotor. So sticky guide pins can lead to a soft brake pedal or even cause the car to pull to one side when braking. Make sure to wipe the area clean of any extra lubricant before you install your pads. My gloves kept breaking, so it was really hard to work with clean ones. Lubricate the contact points where the pads touch the caliper by putting a little lubricant on the back of the pads. Now, replace your pads. The right pads should snap in place and have a snug fit. Keep that in mind. But man, also, you know you have the right one when it fits. That, that, didn't, that didn't come out right, but you, you know what I mean, like, relationship not the penis whatever okay okay replace your caliper make sure the edge of the pads fit in the grooves of the steering knuckle and installation is reversal of removal okay that's it remember to give your rotor one more good wipe with brake clean to remove any lubricant that may have uh, come off your gloves when replacing your caliper like you see here now before you do that test drive, pump your brake pedal a few times until it becomes firm to push your compressed caliper piston back in place. Now take those old brake pads out back, get a professional grade hammer, take your anger out on them, and recycle them at your nearest auto zone. I was making curry for dinner that night. Like and subscribe. Love y'all.